Hi everyone, I am Shubham Jhavar. I am a master teacher at Vidantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2019 Paper 2 Mathematics and the question for this video is this. For non-negative integer n, let f of n is equal to sigma k equal to 0 to n sin of k plus 1 by n plus 2 pi sin of k plus 2 by n plus 2 pi divide by sigma k equal to 0 to n sin square k plus 1 by n plus 2 pi. Assuming cos inverse x takes value in 0 closed to pi closed, which of the following options is or are correct? There are four options and it is a multiple correct type question. So essentially here, if we can find f of n in terms of n, we can comment upon the answers. Now to solve this question, we would be in need to have the formulae for sum of sine series and sum of cosine series where the angles are in AP. So for example, sin A plus sin A plus D plus sin A plus 2D plus so and so forth, suppose there are n terms, then the summation we can write as in a concise way, in a simplified form, sin of number of terms multiply by common difference of angles divide by 2 multiply by sin of first angle plus last angle in this you know, uh, sequence of angles A, A plus D, A plus 2D, so on and so forth, the angles are in AP. First angle plus last angle by 2 divided by sine of common difference of angle by 2. Similarly, cos A plus cos A plus D plus cos A plus 2D plus so on and so forth, the sum of n terms we can write as sine of number of terms multiplied by common difference of the angles by 2 multiplied by cos of first angle plus last angle by 2 where first angle last angle are respectively the first and last angle of the sequence of angles which are in AP A, A plus D, A plus 2D so and so forth divide by sine of common difference of angles by 2. Now you can also note that in the two formulae only this term the second term of the numerator is different in sine and cos rest is the same. So let's uh, solve this question. So here to possibly be able to use what we have just now you know uh, seen I should be multiplying numerator and denominator by 2. So in numerator 2 sin a sin b essentially becomes cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. So cos of uh, a minus b or b minus a is essentially the same thing why because cos of minus theta is cos of theta only so what you get is cos of pi by n plus 2 minus cos 2k plus 3 by n plus 2 pi divide by sigma 2 sin square theta I can write as 1 minus cos 2 theta so basically it becomes this this whole summation and k varies from 0 to n and so below also it varies from 0 to n now if you see carefully the uh, numerator as I add or as I uh, you know add these terms cos of pi by n plus 2 is not varying with k so basically this will add n plus 1 times and it becomes n plus 1 times cos of pi by n plus 2 minus. Now here uh, it is again a cosine series the formula of which we have just now seen where the angles are in AP. So the summation would become sine number of terms which is n plus 1 common difference which if you see carefully is 2 pi by n plus 2 so common difference by 2 it will become pi by n plus 2 cos of first term plus last term by 2 so first term would be what 3 pi by n plus 2 when you put k to be 0 last term would be 2n plus 3 by n plus 2 pi when you put k to be n so essentially you can say denominator is n plus 2 pi is also coming common and the first and last term as you add the numerator would become 
2n plus 3 plus 3. So 2n plus 6. And mind it, we have to do first plus last by 2. So it essentially becomes n plus 3. Whole divide by we also have to consider one more term in denominator which will be sine of common difference by 2. So common difference is 2 pi by n plus 2 by 2 becomes pi by n plus 2. Now here uh, the denominator would become 1 is being added n plus 1 times so it becomes n plus 1 minus again uh, the sum of cosine terms where angles are in AP. So here it becomes sine of number of terms times common difference of angles by 2 which essentially is this because common difference in angles as you vary k it is 2 pi by n plus 2. So by 2 it becomes pi by n plus 2. Cos of first angle plus last angle by 2 first angle is you put k to be 0 2 pi by n plus 2 last angle you put k to be n 2 times n plus 1 pi by n plus 2 so here as you add you would get n plus 2 here and pi here and first plus last in numerator would give you 2 plus 2n plus 2 basically 2n plus 4 by 2 we have to do and it becomes n plus 2 divide by sine of common difference between the angles by 2. Here if you see carefully n plus 1 pi by n plus 2 essentially you may see this as pi minus pi by n plus 2. Check it out. You can write n plus 1 as n plus 2 minus 1. So essentially it becomes pi minus pi by n plus 2 and sine of pi minus theta is sine theta only and if you see carefully this is exactly sine theta if I see pi by n plus 2 as theta. So this term and this term will cancel out. Similarly this term and this term would cancel out for the same reason. Also here n plus 2 and n plus 2 is cancelling out and what you are getting is cos pi which essentially is minus 1. Cos of pi is minus 1. And similarly you may see n plus 3 by n plus 2 pi. n plus 3 you may see as n plus 2 plus 1. So n plus 2 by n plus 2 would become 1. So essentially it becomes 1 times pi plus 1 by n plus 2 times pi which is pi by n plus 2. Now again what is cos of pi plus theta? It is minus cos theta. Yeah. So essentially what you may expect is you may expect if you see a bit carefully numerator becomes n plus 1 times cos of pi by n plus 2 minus minus cos pi by n plus 2. So essentially it becomes n plus 2 times cos of pi by n plus 2. And what about denominator? It is n plus 1 minus minus 1 effectively. So basically it becomes n plus 2. So this essentially becomes which is f of n is cos of pi by n plus 2. So effectively we have got f of n to be cos of pi by n plus 2. So it looked such a you know a big huge term but it has come out to be a very googly googly bush simple term. Now let's explore the options. Here we have got f of n as cos of pi by n plus 2. So what about f of 4? You put n to be 4 you get cos of pi by 4 plus 2 which is 6 cos of pi by 6 is indeed root 3 by 2 so this seems to be correct as n tends to infinity pi by n plus 2 would tend to 0 and cos of 0 would essentially be 1 but it's given half it's incorrect now uh, what about f of 6 f of 6 essentially would be cos of pi by 8 and cos inverse of cos of pi by 8 would be pi by 8 so essentially alpha becomes 10 of pi by 8 which essentially is root 2 minus 1. Now if you just manipulate alpha plus 1 would be root 2 its square would essentially be 2. So you get alpha square plus 2 alpha plus 1 minus 2 becomes minus 1 equal to 0. 
So indeed alpha which is essentially is 10 of pi by 8 which essentially is root 2 minus 1 satisfies this equation. And what about uh, cos inverse of f of 5? f of 5 is essentially cos of pi by 7. And cos inverse of cos of pi by 7 would be pi by 7. And 7 times pi by 7 is pi, sine pi is indeed 0. So this is also correct. So that means my answer should be A, C and D. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.